Good morning students. So this is Vandana Sharma, your teacher and today I'm going to teach you about a topic, a common topic which is noun. But before teaching you this topic, I would like to ask you a question that in this lockdown period, have you planted a plant? I'm, the reason why I'm asking you this question is that because I have planted a plant and I want to show you the growth of that plant. So this is my plant so i have given it the name of noun what is noun noun is the name of a place person or a thing anything any person any place which we have given a name is called as noun like pathan kut india maharashtra punjab america uae every city Every state, every country which has a name is called as noun. Next is thing. Everything is to be considered into the category of noun. Things are what? Like table is a noun, chair is a noun, book is a noun, door is a noun, this pencil is also a noun. So everything which is having a name is to be considered into the category of noun. Now my plant has grown up and it has four leaves and I have given the name to all these four leaves. So the name of first leaf is called as common noun. Why I have given this name to this leaf? Because common noun are common for all nouns that can be used for all the persons places or things of same kind you have to give stress upon these words of same kind are called as man let me give you an example like man uh, man is what man we can consider your father into the category of man your uncle can also be considered into the category of a man your father, uncle, grandfather, maternal uncle, every man who is a male is to be considered into the category of common noun because it is common for all. These all are men. So the name of the next leaf is proper noun. So why I have given this name to this leaf? Why? Because Proper noun is what? Proper noun are special nouns or special names given to a particular place or a thing. Like the name of a school. The name of a school is KLM International School. So any XYZ school can't be KLM International School because our school is having its own identity by the name of KLM International School. So this uh, the name of the school is to be considered into the category of this proper noun. But school is to be considered in the category of common noun because school is common for all schools. So this was it. So next is collective noun. What is collective noun now? Collective noun are nouns used for a collection of persons or things like a crowd of people, a group of people. What we call to a group of people, we call a crowd. So, crowd will be collective noun. Next example, a flock of sheep. When we see a group of sheep, so what we call flock. We use word flock to the group of sheep and flock is to be considered into the category of collective nouns. So, the last one is abstract noun. Abstract noun is what? These are words that refer to some uh, same quality, state or activity as abstract noun is something which we can feel only. We can't touch. Okay. So uh, the examples are courage, fear, theft, poverty, laughter, youth. These all are the feelings like if I am sad, so sad is to be considered into the category of abstract Noun. If I am happy, then happy is to be considered into the category of abstract noun because it's a feeling. So, this was my plant and I hope you all understood what is a noun and what are the basic types of uh, your noun. So, thank you so much.